Hey y'all, Late Night here. E3 2016 is here along with all the announcements, news, and excitement that it brings along with it. Bethesda had a strong showing right out of the gates with their presentation, launching into a cinematic for a newly modernized version of the classic arena shooter Quake Champions. Quake Champions is a competitive, arena-style first-person shooter for the PC. Tapping into a hallmark of the series, Quake Champions will feature a diverse roster of unique characters with their own attributes and abilities, allowing players to play the way they want to. More information will be coming out at QuakeCon in August. At last year's conference, Bethesda introduced The Elder Scrolls Legends, a collectible strategy card game based in the expansive world of Elder Scrolls. Legends provides a deep strategy experience in both single and multiplayer modes, starting off with a fleshed out campaign. In the shown opening cinematic, the narrator of the tale, Kellen, a moth priest, as well as other characters and pieces of the story were teased. In addition to its current beta testing platforms of PC and iPad, The Elder Scrolls Legends will also be coming to iPhone, Mac, and Android's tablets and phones later this year. Next up, Todd Howard launched us into some upcoming content for Fallout 4. Add-on 4, called Contraptions Workshop, will add to the already expansive construction and customization possibilities in Fallout 4, adding features like elevators, weapon and armor racks, track kits, sorting machines, and conveyor belts. Contraptions Workshop launches next week. In Add-on 5, Vault Tech Workshop, players will gain the ability to build, customize, and utilize the iconic Fallout structures, the vaults themselves. Whether you save your settlers or run them through your own strange experimentation will be up to you to decide. Vault Tech Workshop will launch in July 2016. And while there wasn't too much info, we were teased with a theme park looking Nuka World expansion targeted for August 2016. In addition, a large update featuring settler quests, new locations, new enemies, and a new combat system is coming to Fallout Shelter, as well as a PC version of Fallout Shelter announced releasing in July this year. And finally, in response to high fan demand, Skyrim Special Edition was announced, bringing the expansive RPG to modern consoles. In addition, mod support was announced in this upcoming remastered version. Skyrim Special Edition is slated to be released on October 28th of this year for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Next, Prey was revealed, a brand new IP from Arcane Studios. Prey is a first-person immersive game set in a dangerous universe with a psychological twist. In Prey, the player will awaken aboard Talus-1, a space station, as a key subject in an experiment meant to alter humanity forever. Until things take a turn for the worse, as an alien threat takes control of the station. Prey will be available next year on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Next up, the continued support and content for the newly released Doom was detailed. Over the next few months, Doom will continue to get new themes, items, and logic options for Snap Map. Additionally, new multiplayer updates will be coming over the next months, including CTF, Zone Control, and Free-for-All modes. Also, next month, the first premium multiplayer DLC, Unto the Evil, will be releasing. Celebrating a very successful year since The Elder Scrolls Online was released, additional upcoming content and updates were detailed. This Tuesday, the Dark Brotherhood expansion will release on PS4 and Xbox One. In the Dark Brotherhood DLC, players will explore an appropriately dark storyline full of intrigue and mystery. Additionally, coming this fall, a system called One Tamriel will be put in place. With One Tamriel, all players will be automatically leveled to content in the world, allowing them to freely group with anybody they want and explore any content they choose with no level restrictions. Next, in following up on their initial support and early pioneering demos on VR, two games were announced coming to the HTC Vive. Doom and Fallout 4, coming in 2017. Next, Arcane Studios was back, giving more information on last year's announced Dishonored 2. Set 15 years after the first game, Dishonored 2 will allow players to take on the role of either Emily Caldwin, the young empress, or her father, Corvo Antano. Using the trademark supernatural powers in addition to new abilities, the player will unravel a conspiracy to take back what is theirs from an otherworldly foe who has seized power in Dunwall. The game will include choices and consequences, which will affect the world and ultimately the game's final conclusion. Dishonored 2 will release November 11th, 2016. A collector's edition has also been announced with limited quantities available. That was it from the Bethesda briefing today, though there's sure to be more news coming throughout this week as E3 continues. Stay tuned here for more news as it comes out. And, as always, if you enjoyed this video and channel, 
go ahead and give it a like and a subscribe down below to let me know. If you have any other thoughts, let me know in the comments. Catch you next time.